Thank you, Kocice, Jelena, Banska, Bistritsa, and the people, the Slovakian people, and also foreigners that I, I encounter during my time right here, exploring the East and the center of Slovakia. Hello. How are you? Good. Good, excuse me. Are you from Kocice? Nice. What can you tell me about your, your city? It's wonderful. It has a very rich history. Okay. And uh, we have a lot of interesting things here. Oh, that is what I, I found interesting also. I've been here for at least more than one week mm -hmm. already. You guys have like take the best part of my journey right here in Slovakia this time. <laughs> but I'm coming back to explore other places. So I'm, this morning I'm going to Bratislava. Oh. Yes, I'm going to exploit Bratislava for some days, maybe one or two days, and uh, intensely because my time is limited right now mm -hmm. in Slovakia. I have to go to exploit another horizon. Oh. So it is nice. So what's your name? Armana. Armana, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you? Sasha. Sasha, what do you do? It seems like students. Yes, yes we are. Students. What do you study? Um, gymnasium. Gymnasium? gymnasium. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The same? Year. First year? Third year? Yeah. So what do you want to do after studies? Uh, psychology. Psychology? Yeah, university. Yeah. Maybe in Prague. In Prague? Yeah. Oh, Prague is beautiful. I've been yeah. there also. Been? Yeah. yeah, I came from uh, uh, Czech Republic. So, what do you want to do also? Um, psychology? Well, it's still figuring out, but maybe human resources, HR, something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, nice talking to you girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So it is awesome. It is an awesome time. And this morning I'm going to share with you what to know about traveling around Slovakia. My experience, what I've been through, how I do it, how I conquered some difficulties, how the locals helped me. I'm going to share as many in that I can remember in this video. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the journey as I will take you from Kocice by train to Bratislava. And I'm going to share every interesting thing I find on my way with you guys. Let's go. Oh, I supposed to take this one. I didn't see it. I saw it late. The street is very calm this morning. This is 10 a.m. in the morning. And I'm walking through the main uh, street of the city to quickly get some groceries, get something to eat because the journey might be very, very long. At least it might be if it's an express train I will catch it will be about four to five to almost six hours. So I will be hungry in the train, so I need something that will, I need something that I can heat so that I will not be starved, hungry in the train. Though one good thing about the train uh, right here in Slovakia that they normally sell drinks. Not all the trains, some of the train, whenever you get in, they come to serve you free water. Free water. I've never seen that anywhere. The only train, I think, I don't know, maybe it's the Czech train, because it's the one I took from Holomots to Kocice, this city. So whenever you came in, anybody that comes inside the train, immediately they come and serve you water. Very nice. They will give you a bottle of water. It's very interesting. It is the only place, it is the only time, the only train I've seen that uh, gives free water, bottle of water to the passengers. Great, great technique of business, I like that. So if you watch the video uh, from Holomots, Czech Republic to Slovakia, Kocice, yeah, 
you'll get that is the train i couldn't remember the name of the train i think it's i i reject something like that but i think it is a czech republic train so but here in slovakia since i'm traveling around i haven't seen such kind of thing and the only thing i'm going to share more uh, that you need to pay attention here in Slovakia is there is frequent delay in the stops. So uh, the okay, I'll come closer to where I want to buy some pizza. This is the cheapest pizza in the city, do pizza. So I've gotten them. I cannot be able to film inside because they are playing copyright songs. So. I don't want uh, copyright issues, so I decided to off the camera and buy the pizza first. It's very delicious over there. Do pizza, it was recommended to me by some of the, the locals, the girls I met yesterday that was taking me around during the festival of the city. So now, I just want to go quickly to Lidl to get some drink, a water and maybe a Fanta, something like that, or juice because I'm tasty and I drink a lot of water as well, so I need a bottle of water. If not, it's not going to be easy. And the train for me. Kochi chair. The main cathedral, the symbol of the city, is right in front of you guys. This is the main cathedral, the symbol of the city. So, just got my ticket. The ticket to Bratislava cost me 18 euro 68 cents. So, in 40 minutes time, the train will be here. So let me get something to drink. Oh, I guess Lidl is closed. So I'm right in the train now waiting for the part show. And uh, I'm going to share with you uh, Look at what I saw here. Yeah? I've never seen this cat before. I really make me sick. I was like sharing it and uh, some seconds ago, but I didn't on my microphone, so it was like a mistake. So cool. So what you need to know about traveling around Slovakia, there is a station that is called Virutki. It is known for delays of train or also missing of train. So you have to, you know, uh, know this because last time I was going to uh, no, Banska Bistritsa, uh, I missed my train. It's not like other countries when the previous train, maybe the train you are in is delayed, then they can be able to call their colleagues or inform their colleagues to wait until this, until your train arrives. So they are not doing it that way here. So frequently you can miss your connection train in Slovakia. But no cause for alarm. You can just sit down, relax and uh, wait for the next one. I know sometimes it's kind of boring. Maybe you have plans already uh, to arrive in a certain time. So, but this is how it is. So there is frequent delay and in that same, in that very city, Vrutki, uh, that station, it is popularly known for this missing of train and also delay. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the train to keep on going. I can wait to explore Bratislava with you. This is a cat, not even a dog. In Ukraine, it's a popular cat. Ah, really? So in Ukraine, you have this only this kind of cat. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, no, uh, we have uh, all of cats. Okay. But uh, this is uh, more popular. Yes. First time. 
nice experience so i was kind of asking normally the train has to leave supposed to leave by 11 7 now it is more than seven almost 10 minutes late so i'm asking mm -hmm. is it the the real uh is it the train that is going to bratislava this one yes that we have been late for so long <laughs> because it's normal for, for slovakia they train uh, always uh, late yes always oh and what other additional from travel experience you can share with us like uh, other things that uh, foreign stories can expect in Slovakian train. You have any other thing to share? I don't know why, mm -hmm. because uh, we can start uh, eleven. Yes. Yes, but uh, but yes. it is late. Yes. No. Uh, this is almost uh, 10 minutes late thank you she is very confident because it is not easy to express yourself in front of the camera so thank you thank you so and I, as i've said earlier there is a station named vrutki which is uh, even you can even miss your train there but don't worry keep your ticket and uh, you can take the next available one so because the system the connection system is not that uh, nice it's not that okay yet they don't communicate with each other so this is what you can expect here now we are late everybody is in the train and this is the terminal where the train will start from but we are still in the train and it is more than 10 minutes late we are here and we don't know what is the situation no information about the reason uh, about the cost of this delay i was making video of what to know about traveling around slovakia and immediately this is the right moment and the right trip to even to share with you the reason i'm making this video now we're supposed to leave at 11 7 and we leave at 11 25. so these are things you need to pay attention to frequently you will find this situation in the country beautiful country great mountains beautiful places if you are a hiker, it is a paradise for you. And a lot of you are someone like like to explore nature, also a paradise for you. A hey, great people, beautiful, but <laughs> the train system, the travel system is not regular. I was stranded in one of the villages also in a country. It's called Yachov which is uh, suggested to me by local i think one of the locals so is one of his subscriber no which is suggested to me by one of my subscribers to go and visit because i love to like explore uh, villages so and uh, after i was stranded because my boss didn't arrive so I have to take taxi from there to the city which is about 30 kilometers. So guys, yeah, we are heading to Bratislava. The weather is nice, very great people are even having some bathing. So it is nice. I hope there will be no other delay on our way because I want to arrive in Bratislava at least before 5 p.m. So now they have already taken some minutes. So I think if there is no any other delay, we will arrive in Bratislava at 5 p.m. PL. Exact time 5 p.m. But if there is other delay, maybe 6 p.m. or 6 or 5 30 p.m. 
Ah, this is a village here. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at swimming pool there. Their personal swimming pool, yeah, in the village, nice. Good life, peaceful. This is the station I'm telling you guys about, Rutki. Whenever you're traveling around Slovakia, you need to know such things. I'm preparing you guys in advance. <laughs> this the system here, so you have already seen at the beginning of the journey. We we are delayed for more than more than ten minutes, almost twenty minutes of delay. So this is how it is. Zrutki is the most sketchy and controversial <laughs> train station in the country. <laughs> a lot of things is happening here, but it is a nice place. But it is the way um, the transport system is anyway. That is the light what you use. Trench. It's kind of a castle up there. Yeah. Very beautiful. I have loved to visit here, but on this trip I cannot be able to visit here. Hopefully, next time I can be able to visit the city and go up to that castle. I think in a few hours from the maximum one hour from now, I'm going to be in Bratislava. Now look at it, it is beautiful. Whoa, look at it. Man, wonders of man. It's not easy to view this kind of castle on top of the mountain or the hill, I may say. So, can wait to come back to Slovakia to explore all these places I haven't visited on this trip. Next time, trenching, you will see me. I'm coming trenching next time.
come to Bratislava, guys. Yes, this is how to get to Bratislava from Kochice. And this is what to know about traveling around the country. There are a lot of delays. Sometimes you can miss your train. But hey, don't worry. You can use the bus. There is the bus also. Uh, and sometimes the bus also, sometimes there are some delay also. Like I said, the uh, day before yesterday, I was in a village and I didn't get the bus. So sometimes it can also happen. But if not, the system is okay. The transport system is good. And the facilities are okay. It just only has problem with time issues. Only time issues, if not, it is okay. So if you like this video, Give me thumbs up, give me thumbs up and let me know what you think about traveling around the country. If you have any experience, any additional information that I miss or maybe I didn't remember to share, please share on the comment section so we can all learn from you and upcoming travelers can also learn. Until then, see you guys on the next one. Ciao, bye bye. This is the train station of Bratislava. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.